So I am going to be stopping my regular monthly membership because CrossFit is 100% worth every penny unless you're not going at least two, three times a week. Um, and since I'm doing a bodybuilding prep, uh, I would probably only get to CrossFit maybe once a week and maybe not. So what I'm gonna do, I'm still gonna be a member. I'm just going to stop my monthly uh, membership and have a punch card because I just know that I'm gonna wanna get in a couple of CrossFit workouts here and there just to make sure I'm keeping up my, my skills and my kind of see where my fitness is and I just can't give up the community and the, every once in a while that little challenge. Um, CrossFit is so much fun. It's been a part of my life for um, over eight years now and this is gonna be a big change for me. Um, CrossFit has always been that thing that I could always go to like it doesn't matter how I feel um, if I go to CrossFit I'm gonna get in a good workout and it just always makes me feel so good so this is gonna be interesting not doing CrossFit anymore Okay, I am not going to lie, that workout um, kicked my ass. It was so many pull-ups. Um, Push-ups were pretty hard too, but really was the grip was going. But, good news is, did not rip my hand, so I broke it up correctly. Um, just talked to Andrew, and I'm gonna do a punch card so that I can keep doing a little bit of CrossFit while I'm doing my bodybuilding prep. Whew. I'm still out of breath. Um, Andrew is the best, and I will continue to work with him as I go through my prep. So I just finished CrossFit, and now I'm at my favorite store. Um, well, it's one of my favorite stores just because it's called Grocery Outlet, and you can get discounted stuff, and this is where I have been supplementing my meat um, I usually buy, um, I get a CSA every month from a local farm here in uh, Eugene, Oregon. And then I also um, sometimes order from ButcherBox. I've been using CrowdCrow. And then Grocery Outlet has grass-fed organic meats um, for majorly discounted prices. So I will oftentimes supplement some of my um, meat from here. And especially ribeyes, they're like super cheap. So and then I stick them in the freezer. So, get your meat where you can. Here we are, grocery outlet. Okay, so this is my grocery outlet haul. Um, these steaks are Rainier Premium Organic Meats, um, beef strip, strip loin steaks. Um, so it doesn't necessarily say grass fed on them, but I'm gonna go with these. I got eight of these, because that's all they had. And then I got six of these ribeyes. Now it's ribeyes, because that's all they had, bought them all. And then this is the Vega Hydrator. My husband and I really love this one, it tastes really good. And this is the formula that still has um, a high amount of potassium in it. Um, and it's, it was only $12.99, it's regular like $27.99. So we were actually almost out of that. 
I couldn't believe that I already stocked up on them. So I'm also kind of paranoid when I see deals like this that they're no longer going to be there anymore. So that is me. Get a little bit. I, uh, I'm a meat hoarder. Okay. Then I found some organic sour cream. Good one. So I got that from my husband. And then these are no better pasta. My son loves pasta and he is not totally keto, but these are made out of chickpeas. So I'm preferring the macros. At least they have like some protein and fiber in them and they're not wheat. They're gluten free. So I've been getting those for my son. It's just a really good alternative. Um, and he likes them, which is hard. So and then I got those avocados. And each of these steaks were regularly $14.99 and each one of them was $6.49. So this may seem crazy, but when you meal plan and you're using like one steak, a ribeye steak, if you go out to dinner for ribeye steak, it could be like $30 um, versus $6.49. Okay, so it is gorgeous out. My husband is at Cottage Grove Lake. He's fishing and I am gonna go join him to get some outside time, even though my allergies are absolutely killing me right now. But um, I have a confession to make. I'm also feeling terrible today because last night I had two vodka and sodas. I never drink anymore since I've been on keto. And when I do, I feel terrible and I never should have done it, but I did it. So that was a mistake. I also had a flower, some flourless chocolate port. Um, so I pretty much feel like super hungover today but hopefully that'll get better. And I also am having my, one of my last, I'm sure I'll be able to have Starbucks, like black coffee and things, you know, during this cut. But this is one, this is a Americano with steamed heavy cream, which is the classic keto kind of coffee that's awful and addictive, but I'm gonna have one more for my it really starts and I'm gonna enjoy every sip. Well, this is my first time out on the boat. It's my husband in the background. Say hi. <laughs> so he's been fishing and I have just been relaxing. Um, I don't get outside very often during the week. Um, our weather isn't great in Oregon, so when it's sunny, you got to kind of seize the day. And I have a whole bunch of prep cooking and things to do when I get home, but I figured I would come out here for a couple hours and I'm really trying to get outside more, get some vitamin D. Touch the water, look at that, look at that water. It's beautiful. Not quite warm enough for any kind of swimming or anything, um, but we're looking forward to a summer of that. And I think it's really beautiful out here, but I may have to go home and actually get ready for the week. So, bummed about that, but time to prep cook. I'm also kind of hungry. I think I need to go home and eat. Well, we were going to get out of the lake, but it looks like somebody, somebody actually let their truck fall into the lake or roll into there. So I guess we're going to sit here for a little bit. Okay. Week one meal prep is done. These are my lunches All right here. Right there. Look how cute they are. So. I get eight ounces of ground beef, 85.15 with two eggs and a tablespoon of butter. I found these really cute um, Kerrygold butter packets. They're actually a little less than a tablespoon, um, but that's okay. This is just easier, but look how cute they are. And with these, I will have half of an avocado and then for dinner every night, I get a 10 ounce ribeye. These are all seared. 
They're all 10 ounce ribeyes. Seared, ready to go. Um, they're partially cooked, but I will, I didn't want them to be too overdone when I warmed them up, so not fully cooked. Um, and then I get three ounces of shrimp and the rest of my avocado and a tablespoon of butter with this. So week one, doesn't look too bad. 1,700 and like 86 calories I get. And then I also will have a coffee in the morning with some MCT oil powder and butter, one tablespoon of butter. So that is week one meal prep. I got these little to-go containers too. They're pretty fun. Pretty excited. I'd have to say, uh, eating a ketogenic diet does not suck. It is Sunday evening and tomorrow I start my prep. Um, I kind of videoed a little bit of what I did today. Um, I am totally new to this whole vlogging thing. I don't know how to use the camera. I don't know how to do any of this stuff, so bear with me. But I wanted to document my first competition. I'm going from being a CrossFit athlete. Um, I do tennis. Um, I've always dabbled in weightlifting, but um, I just wanted to try something new. I've also been really active in the keto space and I really want to show people um, what you can do on a ketogenic diet. So I have gotten certified to be a keto coach through Maria Emmerich, um, but I wanted to get some coaching first. I wanted to go through some things before I really put myself out there. I've, I do, I have had a few clients. Um, I feel like I know what to do to get people going on keto, but um, I was interested in getting some coaching myself. So I hired Danny Vega and so excited because he really knows what he's doing. He knows how to work with athletes. He's up to date with all the newest research. Um, I'm really curious what my body can do. So um, I got inspired by a friend of mine who, her, who has been doing bodybuilding. She used to do CrossFit too. And I've seen what she's been able to do and I was like, well, why don't I try that? So this year I finished the CrossFit Open and I'm putting my membership on hold for um, CrossFit for now and we'll do that intermittently, but we'll focus on bodybuilding. Um, I'm also doing my, um, my tennis season right now, which will be pretty short, but anyways, this is where I'm starting from. So last summer I did DSK, which is Deeper State Keto, and I did that for like two months and I got super lean. Um, leanest I've ever been and this um, I've been keto for about a year and a half now and never felt better um, it was very lean so when I decided I wanted to try doing a figure competition I realized that I probably needed to put on some muscle so I realized I need to do some bulking so I've been trying to bulk and let me tell you ladies it is not easy to get bigger Okay, so this whole being afraid of bulking and getting huge, it doesn't happen. It takes hard, hard work to put muscle on. Um, I had got an in -body, some in-bodies done when I was doing DSK. Um, I think the machine though that I went to recently is probably more accurate. Um, so I am going to share my weight and my body fat percentages. I will be doing some posing pictures. Um, right now I'm feeling a little fluffy because I had to put some body fat on with the muscle, but I know that I I feel like I have got put on some good muscle, got to put the shoulders and the butt and stuff going. Um, so this is a big deal to put my body out there for everyone to see, so please don't be mean. <laughs> um, I am 39 years old five foot eight and currently let's see 
I got my in-body done on the 28th, and today is the 31st, March 31st, and I was 157.6 pounds, 74.1 pounds of skeletal muscle mass, 26.4 body fat mass, so my percent of body fat is 16.8, which is actually, you know, if I just wanted to stay healthy, that's a great, great way to be. Um, even though I feel a little bit on the heavier side for myself. Um, body mass in index of 24. So I compared my results to an old um, in body when I got down to like, it said 9.9%. I was probably 9.9 .9 to 13 was about where I was running. And I have gained skeletal muscle mass. Um, it says only a pound of muscle mass, but I know for sure. I've taken some measurements and my hips and butt area, I have gained two and a half inches, three quarters of an inch in my arms, um, over an inch in both legs, about an inch in my waist, um, chest is about the same. So I know that in a lot of the areas I've been working on, I've definitely put on some mass. So that's good. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'll do a weekly vlog, tell you how I'm doing. Um, I will let you know what I'm making for my food prep and you'll get to see how this goes. Um, I've never done anything like this in my life and I'm really excited. Um, leading up to this, I've just been agonizing about the timeline because you want to make sure you don't have a lot of events happening and things and you want to make sure you're in a good mindset. Um, I've really been letting myself eat a lot of things I don't normally eat um, leading up to this to kind of get it out of my system. But I'm ready for some discipline. I'm ready to have some results. Um, and I'm really excited to see what my body can do. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little vlog and follow along on my journey. And we shall see how it goes.